Hallo Freunde, herzlich willkommen zurück zu Red Dead Redemption 2. Also, die Jagdherausforderung scheint wirklich zu sein, dass es eine neue Spezies sein muss, was mich halt immer dann wundert, was ist, wenn ich schon alle entdeckt habe? Dann hat man euch ein Problem. Dann kann man das eigentlich nicht mehr fertig machen. Aber jetzt sind wir erstmal bei Hosea. Hi, Gumbel. Hey, Jungs. Selling it back to where it came from. Why? I got a market for it. They made it. They must have someone to sell it to. <coughs> Stuff looked kind of lonely out here. I think we'll cut ourselves a deal. Uh, I get you. You and Dutch was just doing your duty when you requisitioned it. Now I'm doing mine. All right. I should get going now. <laughs> oh, man. Okay. I'll leave you fellas to it. Good luck. Thank you, John. Wo ist mein Pferd? Wo sind meine Waffen und dann... Okay. Gut, dann nehmen wir mal gute Waffen mit. Okay, let's head out to the Braithwaite's place. You know the way? Yeah, I've been there. So, what exactly are we doing? This is the moonshine we took after blowing up the Braithwaite's still, right? I think the good citizens taking the trouble to return their stolen goods deserve some reward, don't you? And it's time we made a formal introduction, like Dutch told us. Look, huh. these are two big old plantation houses, and all I keep hearing is they hate each other so much they can't see past it. I know. I've seen it. There's a grave boy and a Braithwaite girl carrying on a secret affair. I've been, well, helping them. The mind boggles. You think they're of use? Not sure. They don't seem too involved in the rest of it. Maybe. Well, I'm sure there's money in this for us somewhere if we can get in the middle of it. That's the question if you're in the middle of the whole sandwich. in the market for it. For what? Some liquor. I ain't in the market for what's already mine. The way we see it, it's out. <laughs> well, with us possessing it, and I, I checked all over. For the life of me, I couldn't see your name on it. Oh. Relax, I ain't here to rob you. <laughs> well, it seems that's easy enough. <laughs> Why not do a deal? What do you sell that stuff for? Dollar a bottle. You give us 50 cents. It's already ours. Well, look on it as a reward for finding the property. Alternative is we go sell it someplace else. The alternative <laughs> is you get shot. Now, who wants to get shot over a bottle or two of liquor? <laughs> Pay the man. Pleasure doing business with you. And listen. Uh, we didn't take it, at least not without orders. Oh, I know exactly who gave you your orders. Old Sheriff Gray. You know what? I don't want it. In fact, sir, now you can do me a favor. There's an extra ten bucks if you do. Drive the stuff into Rhodes, head over to the tavern run by Mr. Gray, and give the stuff out for free. Mama! Hush now. I believe they call that a promotional expense. <laughs> As you wish, man. 
You boys come back sometime and tell me how you made out. Maybe we'll play a little cribbage. All right. Next stop, the road saloon. Ja, da kann man wirklich Geld machen, wenn man den ihren Hass aufeinander ein bisschen ausnutzt. So, I finally sold those Cornwall bonds. Got close to a thousand for them. I wanted more, but not bad considering how hot they were. Especially after that bloodbath in Valentine. No, not bad at all. Apparently, Cornwall's been pumping a lot of cash into the Pinkertons. Wants to keep their full effort on going after gangs. Gangs like us. Yeah, that don't surprise me. All right, this could get ugly. You and Dutch already have that thing going on in town with the sheriff. Yeah, Mr. Gray. That's it. Now we're inserting ourselves in his blood feud. <laughs> we'll need something. I ain't playing dressing. You know how I feel about that. Of course you're not. You're... You're a clown's... Idiot... Brother. Mosea, please. I'm the clown. You're the idiot. Just... Look... Sad and keep quiet. Even you can do that, Arthur. Oh, I have to. Yeah. <laughs> Put this hat on. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Smoke man. this pipe. Bring your lip forward, just a bit. Sehen wir noch bald aus wie Gandalf. Perfect. What about you? You can't speak. You're turned idiot. Oh man, oh man. Broke poor mammy's heart. There, there. Fenton, there, there. Don't get mad now. Weil der Hut und die Pfeife reicht, dass wir nicht erkannt werden, ja? Leute, gibt's zum Essen? Okay, ah, zum Trinken. Mama, she loved you so. <laughs> Just a shame you had to strangle her in a rage, right? Grab two cases of that stuff and follow me. <laughs> also, ich weiß nicht, ob die Grace da nicht einfach eins und eins zusammenziehen können. Mother, but it weren't his fault. How'd you boys? How'd you boys like a couple of bucks? I bet you would. One for each of you. We're in the new trade of advertising, which is an American art form about ensuring people buy the correct things. I don't know. One more dollar. Says give us half an hour. What harm can we do in half an hour? <laughs> Go along now. Enjoy the money. Come along, Fenton. Let's hand out the liquor. Ich hoffe, du weißt, was du tust, was hier. Gentlemen! Keiner an der Bar! Gentlemen! Mein Name ist Mel. Das ist mein Bruder Fink. Er ist ein bisschen funny. Aber boy, kann er schnell pour Drinks fast. Für die nächsten 30 Minuten sind die Drinks in dieser hier Bar, in dieser hier Town, total frei. Yeah. The only rule is that you gotta drink them. So hurry up, put old Fenton to work. Don't get him mad, though. His mama made him mad, and we buried him. Poor oh, thing. Ah. Now come up to the bar, everybody. Come on, fellas. Hey, I'll have one fist. A gift. Bounty. It's a sin to look at gift horses, but I see a gift horse.
Just keep them coming. Don't be shy, boys. Don't be shy. It's the land of opportunity. <laughs> Mr. Gray won't be happy about this. These men are dry. Another opportunity to get hideous and drop the We're fine, man. Come on. We got work to do, my boys. You're a fine fun. man, Finn. A fine man. man. Don't listen to your brother. You Over here, Finn. Down, my boy. <laughs> Zack, zack, zack. <lacht> Was ist nur eine halbe Stunde gewesen? Das ist schon ziemlich dunkel, nämlich. mich. <lacht> oh Gott. Oh je. Oh je. Oh je, oh je, oh je. Vision. Guten nehmen, ha? gemacht. Los, los, go, 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 go. Yeah. Go, 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 go. Komm schon. Oh shit, das war mit Gewehr. Boah. Gut, 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 gut. Ah, das ist das kleine Kaliber nur. Es sind einfach zu viele. Es sind einfach zu viele. Das gibt es ja wohl nicht. Penner. Look out, 
Das sind leider ziemlich viele. Ja, wieder Schrotflinte. Ich hoffe, das war's. Oh boy. All right. We're good. Yeah. Remind me never to take up a career. In, what was it? Advertising. <laughs> you think that woman set us up? No, I don't think so. Maybe. This place is odd. Uh, I keep seeing those fellas. Some local militia. Clearly not too happy to have some new competition. I'll go visit old Mob Braithwaite, see what's what. Why? We've been making money. The chest is filling up again, slowly but surely. Part of me thinks we just get ourselves good and lost. But we still need a lot more money before that can happen. So, for now, let me go give old Mrs. Braithwaite some of this moonshine as, well, let's call it a peace offering. Sure. That was fun, Fit. We'll make an actor of you yet. <laughs> <laughs> I'll go speak to Dutch. So, what do you think? About what? Fine folks around these parts. Oh, real nice. Exactly. On the one side, we have got the Gray family. Scots, degenerates, drunkards, the local law. You couldn't make this stuff up. Rich as Croesus. And on the other, their mortal enemies, the Braithwaites. Moonshiners, hypocritical, both rolling, we believe. In gold. And in the middle of it all, you got some inbred retailing of Romeo and Juliet. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> so what do you boys think? We try to rob them both. You sure? Why not? Because we got lawmen in three different states after us. Last thing I want is to get us into trouble, but we need money. Now, we have the opportunity here to put ourselves in the middle of something ain't nobody gonna know we was here. Because even without us, these fools are gonna kill each other anyway. Okay, well, Jose's gone back to see that Braithwaite woman. Good. Hosea should definitely take the lead on this. I sent Sean over to Braithwaite Manor, too. Now, you can meet up with them. Or join John and Javier at the Gray's place. Something to do with the Braithwaite's prize horses. Why the hell did we get an in at the Gray's place? Sheriff Gray kindly put in a word with his father. It ain't that complicated. <laughs> we gotta convince each family that we're on their side. And then we rob them both. Before they figure out it was us that done it, and not the other lot, we'll be long gone. Think of it as payback. Payback. I ain't in the revenge business, Dutch. Least of all for something happened a long time ago. Well, I guess we all gotta pay for something. Now, if you will excuse me, Arthur, I got to write a letter. Hm. So, eine gute Idee am besten, dass wir die anderen wissen, hey, es war die andere Familie. Bis sie sich gegenseitig ganz offiziell den Krieg erklären und sich gegenseitig fertig machen. <lacht> Was denn da? Entschuldigung, dass ich da was einzahle. 
Und jetzt zahlt er halt nichts. Mal sehen, gibt es da noch irgendwas? Ah, der mal. Ein bisschen was bringen sie ja doch rein mal. Aber so im Großen und Ganzen haben wir mehr oder weniger alles. Waffen und Munition, ja, das können wir auffüllen. Hier vielleicht was zum Spenden. Bitte schön. Hosea. <lacht> oh, der Part ist auch schon wieder zu Ende. Freunde, ich bedanke mich hier fürs Zuschauen und sage bis zum nächsten Mal. Ciao.